Good morning guys, welcome back to another it's afternoon. Afternoon guys, welcome back to another video on Unplug TV. So today we are going, we, I mean, my son uh, Christoph, that's, that's the smart one. Uh, we are going to the UQ charger. I want to show you something I've discovered recently on the um, Tesla watchdog app. Scan my Tesla app. So in the Tesla watchdog, we have now several uh, numbers here to show. A cell temperature max, a cell temperature min, the battery flow, liter per minutes, and the battery temperature at the moment, which goes into the battery to cool. Then we've got the power of the rear motor, which is zero because we are not driving at the moment. And we've got the temperature in the rear motor as well. And here we have the battery, uh, the, the fluid temperature going into the rear motor to cool it. We've got the uh, maximum cell voltage and we've got the state of charge of 36.8. All right, let's go for a drive and see how these figures change. So Matt from the Tech Forum YouTube channel has recently made a video about the temperature in the Model 3 while supercharging and he discovered as well that the actual car is heating up the battery while supercharging to enable faster charging. Uh, he was also talking about degradation in this these terms because uh, hot battery is, yeah, that's a bad thing really. Yeah, so in this matter, I want to show you something here at the UQ charger because we have different charging options there. And I want to show you how the battery or the car, the BMS performs while charging on different sources. So the battery and motor have cooled down overnight. Uh, the last drive was yesterday at about 5 p.m. or so when we came back from Toowoomba. And since then the car has moved, was in the garage, parked and everything has cooled down to the yeah, outside temperature now. So guys, we have now arrived here at the UQ charger and the battery has warmed up to 31 degrees max and min, these two figures here. And the inlet is 32, so... Rear power is zero because we are parking at the moment. Uh, the temperature in the motor is 44 degrees and the powertrain inlet is 31. So it's slightly cooling the motor, but only with ambient temperature. 3.6 volt and 32% state of charge we have. Okay, so I set the limit to 90% because we are going for a drive tomorrow to Brisbane. So I need a bit more capacity. So now we have two possibilities here. We have the Tesla destination charger here. Three phase, 16 amp, uh, gives us 11 kilowatt in the car. This is the max the car can do on AC. We will try this first and see what the battery temperature does. All right, so this is charging. Let's have a look. So here we are charging, you can see the little 3 in there, uh, means a 3 phase, 16 amp is the maximum the car can do, and this is what we receive at the moment, 11, uh, I'll turn the H back off, yeah here we go, 16 of 16, so this is 11 kilowatts now the car receives, and we can see the battery is on 31.5 now, um, battery cooling, same there and we can see the battery cell voltage is slowly rising now well this is the maximum you can charge on uh, ac on the car okay let's give it five minutes and i'll show you the temperatures again okay so we are charging for about five minutes now we've charged seven kilometers so far and the battery temperature has risen to 32 degrees uh, no cooling 32 uh, nothing in the motor of course and battery state of charge has risen to 34.6% 3.7 volt 
in the maximum cell in the highest um, cell so far okay i'll stop charging now and plug in the uh, dc charging the 50 kilowatt yep, so i'll take this one out no, trust you that's fine yeah yeah Then you press on start over there. Hmm. That's it. Done. All right. I can see ramping up. 40 kilowatts, 42 kilowatts. Yeah, so it will take 45 minutes to charge to 90%. All right. So here comes the interesting fact now. Battery temperature still at 32 degrees. Um, you can see the inlet so this is the cooling fluid going into the battery has increased from 32 to 36.5 already because you can see the motor at the rear even we are parking we are not moving has three kilowatts and the temperature is already increased to 51 degrees so what happens now here is the car is connected to DC. Whenever you do this, regardless if it's a 50 kilowatt charger, a supercharger, 120 kilowatt hours, uh, kilowatts, or a super fast charger with 350 kilowatts, the car will start burn energy in the motor to heat up the battery to increase the charging speed and decrease charging time. And this is exactly what Matt showed in his video as well. Uh, with the supercharging he could see increased temperatures up to 50 degrees in the battery which is 129 fahrenheit or something so the car heats up the battery to enable faster charging but we all know a hot battery is bad for the battery this increases degradation and there we go 58 degrees 59 degrees now coming from the motor three kilowatts burned and this is the Ah, why is it minus 17? Ah, here we go. Yeah, we are heating up the battery 36.3. So it's diverting the heat now from the rear motor to the battery and is trying to heat up the battery. And this is at 37.9% state of charge. Well, as I have shown you before, on the destination charger, three phase 16 amp, which is 11 kilowatts, this is the maximum the car can do, there's no battery heating happening. So whenever you charge on AC, there's no battery heating. It keeps the battery cool on a certain level, but as soon as you connect to DC, it starts heating up the battery, which is actually bad for the battery. Okay, we leave this running for 10-15 uh, minutes and I'll show you the temperatures then. So we have now reached 50% state of charge and the battery has heated up to 41%, uh, 41 degrees. And you can see the inlet is still higher than the actual battery. So the car is still trying to heat up the battery even more, even further. Uh, rear motor is producing 3 to 3.5 kilowatts and has reached a temperature of 76 degrees Celsius now. Insane. Uh, we are charging with 38 kilowatts into the battery. There's some going away for the air condition, of course, and some is going away for the for burning energy in the rear motor. That's all in total around five kilowatts wasted for the aircon and the motor. So 38 plus five. So we have now reached 45 degrees in the battery. It's still heating. 48 into the battery and the rear motor is still burning 3.5 kilowatts insane 56% state of charge we are still going for another 30 minutes uh, I think we will go far beyond 50 degrees actually so we have reached now 50 degrees in the battery and it still keep heating at 53 inlet so the uh, uh, cooling fluid going into the battery is still hotter than the battery itself 3 kilowatts unchanged 83 degrees in the rear motor not moving still parking here and charging and we are at 65 percent state of charge all right so just the rear motor is not producing any heat anymore 
it has stopped heating up for um, 84 degrees in the rear motor and 53 in the inlet so 53 degrees is what I, I have seen uh, on our way up to the holiday destination last week about 52 53 degrees this is the maximum battery temperature we get while DC charging and that's what we can see here 52 degrees now it will keep this temperature now until we stop charging now and you can see we are charging with 41 kilowatts now even we have a higher state of charge um, almost 70 percent but the rear motor has stopped producing heat so this is the three kilowatts we're getting on top of it now okay we keep charging and see what's happening So we have now reached insane 55 degrees in the battery. It's not heating up the battery anymore. Uh, the heating in the motor has stopped at 77%. Uh, we are still charging with 41 kilowatts though. And battery is super hot. It is super hot. So we have reached 87% state of charge now. Uh, battery temperature is still 55 degrees. It is slowly cooling, so it's not heating up the battery anymore. I mean, 55 is really enough, really. Um, we stopped the charge now, and you can see what's actually happening then with the temperatures. All right, I'll put the car in drive. Well, so while we are driving, it doesn't seem like it uses the air condition to cool the battery. It's just the ambient temperature, uh, 48 and six degrees is the inlet of the battery and we still got over 53 degrees in the battery no active cooling all right guys so we are back home uh, there was a 10 kilometer drive from the uh, uq charger back home battery has cooled down to 50 degrees and you can see the battery inlet is still at 48 so it's not really using any active cooling to cool down the battery it's slowly coming down now while we are driving yeah it's adapting to the ambient temperature again well what does this all mean will we see an increase in degradation in the tesla batteries due to this heating up of the battery while dc charging well we will this temperature is certainly not healthy for the battery uh, well it it puts the battery in, a, in an area about 55 degrees. As we all know, lithium ion doesn't like it hot. The ideal temperature for lithium ion is about 25, 27 degrees. This is when manufacturers specify their cells to. And 55 is more than double the temperature, more than double the heat inside the cell, which is certainly not healthy. So the more DC charge you do with your Tesla, the more degradation you will have just from the temperature perspective alone what we could see on the 11 kilowatt ac charging we just did on the uh, on the um, destination charger there was no battery temperature increase and there was no heating taking place so the bms is not using the rear stator of the motor to produce heat when you charge on ac and the same obviously applies to all the ac charging you do at home so as always with batteries the slower you charge the longer the battery will last and the same is for the discharge current the more you vlog your car and use the maximum acceleration and and you're pulling a lot of amps out of the battery to drive your car the less the battery will last and there was a bit of a discussion going on on Facebook about this and people were a bit of, uh, upset about this because Tesla don't tell you. Well, they kind of do tell you. If you read the manual, I think it's on page 146 or so in the chapter about batteries. It says something about superchargers and DC charging in general. If you do a DC and supercharging a lot, it will eventually, your charging speed will eventually decrease to maintain battery health and i can show you this here in the app um, under the battery you can see the dc total charged 689 kilowatt hours and ac charged 535 kilowatt hours charged so i have charged more dc than ac which i probably shouldn't have done 
How much will this affect the whole battery degradation in the Tesla Model 3 or in other Teslas? Well, we don't know yet. Other people say it will be only a very, very small amount of degradation happening through this extended heat in the battery, but I think it's a little bit more. Yes, they give you an eight year warranty on the drive trend, but with a 70% state of health figure on this warranty. And I'm certainly not a guy who wants to be on 70% after only eight years with this car. Definitely not. So keep in mind, whenever you plug into DC, even if it's convenient, even if it's free, you are degrading your battery a little bit more than you actually would if you charge on AC. And over time, this all accumulates and your battery will lose on state of health. Yeah, and some people even say, don't worry about it. You've got the most advanced and sophisticated battery and battery management system in the car here. Don't worry about any degradation or something. Just drive the car, enjoy the car. Don't worry about anything. Well, again, that's not me. I want to know what's going on. I want to see on this. I want to look at these figures here. I want to understand what's going on, how the car works, how they have designed the battery management system. And clearly the car doesn't show you anything like this um, without this app. The only thing you can see is when you go to a supercharger, it says um, conditioning battery for supercharging. A little text comes up here. And this is the only, uh, the only visible sign on the screen here it tells you actually it's burning energy inside the motors to heat up the battery. So, well, you save probably 5% over the time over each supercharging stop. I mean, guys, who is that tight in time? Really? five minutes on the other hand it probably is this still recording here yeah on the other hand it probably makes sense if you are living in a very cold climate so if you have minus 10 minus 20 degrees in winter time and you want to go fast charging supercharging this feature may make sense to heat up the battery quickly and then so it can accept a high uh, charging current but here in australia it certainly does not make any difference in charging speed or charging power. So I would really like to see an option somewhere in the in the settings of the car where we can actually turn off the battery precondition or the battery conditioning while DC charging. This would be an optimal thing. I would turn this off to prolong battery life and I don't need to charge that fast. I still have another five or 10 minutes time when I'm supercharging, when I'm fast charging, it doesn't really bother me to wait a few more minutes then. All right, guys, so far this video from today, this little test I wanted to do for a while. I have watched the figures for a while, um, but I wanted to make it clear in a, in a dedicated video and show you guys what's actually happening when you plug into AC or when you plug into DC. So let me know what you think down there. Yeah, and if you have any further questions about this, and guys, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia, signing off. You stay charged and we will see us again in the next video soon. All right, see you then. Bye bye.